Nicknamed Ardi, she is the oldest fossil belonging to the human family ever discovered. Writing in the journal Science Today, American and Ethiopian researchers have unveiled 15 years of work on the skeleton, dating from nearer to the time when our ancestors split from chimpanzees than any fossil skeleton found before. What has surprised experts is just how little she resembles an ape. Our science correspondent Tom Clark reports. As soon as scientists discovered the first fragments of this skeleton, they knew she was a human-like ancestor. She had a small furry face and teeth for chewing, not for fighting. But after reconstructing her entire skeleton, they've made a remarkable discovery. They think Ardi stood tall, not very at just over four feet high, but upright nonetheless. So important to find, this fossil had its own press conference in Washington, D.C. today. It is like nothing we have ever seen before. It is not a chimpanzee. It is not a human. It is not something you can go see in the zoo. The only way you can see it is go very deeply into the past, recover its fossils, and then restore them. The first fragments of Ardi, short for Ardipithecus ramidus, were discovered 15 years ago in the Afar Rift in northern Ethiopia. Since then, an international team led by American and Ethiopian scientists scoured the region until they'd found much of a human-like skeleton. Before now, the oldest pre-human, this complete, was Lucy, discovered in the same region of Ethiopia in the 1970s. But what came between upright apes like Lucy and our crouching cousins, the chimpanzees? Ardi fills that gap. We know our closest living relatives are the chimpanzees, but the mystery surrounding our long-dead human ancestry is so deep because there's only a handful of ancestral human skeletons older than a million years or so. There's Homo erectus, thick-browed and upright, who strode through Africa and Asia around one and a half million years ago. Then there's stocky Homo habilis, who was using stone tools in Africa two and a half million years ago. Then a big jump to 3.2 million years ago, the era of Australopithecus, till now our first known upright ancestor, the most famous being Lucy. But now we have the skeleton of Ardipithecus, a million years older than Lucy and tantalizingly close to the long sought after ancestor we shared with our closest living cousins, the chimps, six million years ago. What's astounded scientists is how unape like Ardi is. A detailed analysis of her hand bones show it's unlikely she walked on her knuckles like a gorilla or a chimp. Her discoverers believe her pelvis shows she walked upright like us, though other scientists think the evidence inconclusive. Ardi's anatomy is so unexpected, researchers can't be certain that she's a direct ancestor of humans. I think one of the, the, the difficult things about this new material is, is the difference that Ardipithecus shows from the succeeding stage of evolution, Australopithecus. There are big differences and not much time between them. So I think at the moment it's unclear where Ardipithecus fits. Is it a direct ancestor for Australopithecus and, and for us? Or is it perhaps a relic of an earlier stage of human evolution? It will take more fossil finds to establish whether Ardi is our long lost relative or not. But either way, her discovery has changed the story of human origins forever.